So next, we have a very hot topic. Question, is AI ready to be used by your organization or is it still experimental? Joshua Peste of Roundtable Technology, our community partner, will review the current state of AI and demonstrate how it might be used to reduce your busy work. And my name is Joshua Peske. I am with Roundtable Technology, and we do our best to help nonprofit organizations use technology to further their missions. And uh, my colleague, Justin, will be dropping links in the chat uh, over the session. So keep a lookout for those. And I prepared a video for this. So I'll ask Andrew to go ahead and play the video. Hello, my name is Joshua Peske with Roundtable Technology. Today, I'm going to show something referred to as generative AI. Specifically, I'm going to use a language model referred to as GPT-3 to write a blog post for a nonprofit. I'm going to use the tool jasper.ai to do this, so let's dive in. I would like to write an article about the event we're doing today, the future of work with TechSoup. So to start, I've highlighted this text about the event. I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to go over to my generative writing tool, jasper.ai, and I'm going to choose the blog post workflow. Now here I'm going to paste in that text that I copied out and go ahead and choose continue. All right, that describes the content that I want to create. So it's the prompt that I'm using to start Jasper writing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, Jasper to generate some title ideas. And I can see that three ideas have been created here, navigating the nonprofit workplace of the future, future of nonprofit workplaces, and navigating the ship of the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigating the nonprofit workplace of the future. I'll use that title. I think I like that one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and have Jasper generate an introduction paragraph for me. So I'm gonna click generate again. And again, in just a few seconds, uh, Jasper creates a few uh, options for my intro paragraph. So I'm going ahead and use this top one, which I think looks pretty decent. And now I'm going to open the editor. So we are now in the Jasper document editor. The first thing I'm gonna do is set a tone of voice for writing. Now you can train these models in some cases to mimic a tone of voice from your own organization. We could talk about uh, another time. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and write witty. So um, we have a witty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new line and I'm gonna ask Jasper to write an outline for this blog post. I'm just gonna hit command enter and Jasper is going to go ahead and write an outline for me. Now, I go ahead and choose output link long just so we could get a full blog post very quickly here for purposes of this demonstration. So I'm going to hit compose. And first, it's going to be talking about virtual meeting platforms. And then it's going to jump into work flexibility. Everything looks good so far. I'm going to go ahead and tell um, to compose. And it's going to continue along. And now it gets to the paragraph on equity. So let's go ahead and read what it has to say there, equity. As the workplace evolves, it is important to consider equity in how we work. It's about ensuring that everyone has an equal opportunity to succeed. This includes things like providing access to resources, being inclusive of different voices and perspectives, and creating opportunities for everyone to contribute. It's a bit general, but not bad, right? It's, it's pretty decent writing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep clicking continue until Jasper has finished all of the bullet points that it brought up. Go ahead and just to show everybody, I will say, write a conclusion and Jasper is going to go ahead and write a conclusion for me. Now I've got all the text that I want. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight all of that and jump into my Google doc. So here I am in Google docs. Now I have cheated a little bit. I used the magic of editing, to uh, skip over the part where, you know, formatted a little bit, a title and uh, topic headers, but you can see now that we've got a lovely little start of a blog post. Uh, I'm including a, uh, here in the, uh, in the video that if you wanna go take a look at this document and read it over uh, on your own time, but you can see that using these AI generative tools, you can create content in a matter of minutes and both the combination of your own prompts to decide what content you wanna create and how you wanna create it, and the work you do editing the content that is created after the fact can still make it highly unique to your needs and your organization, but allows you to create much, much more quickly. I hope you found this out. Uh, Joshua, I think you might be on mute. Yeah, sorry. I turned my mic off because we had the echo. I hope everyone enjoyed the uh, video of kind of talking like a chipmunk. I was trying to squeeze as much as I could there <laughs> into through that minute. We've been using uh, AI generative writing tools uh, since early this year. And if you're interested to see if you can tell the difference between which of our posts were written by humans and which were written by AI, you can go ahead and look through our blog and see if you can tell the difference. Uh, we're also doing a series on using AI in nonprofits. It's a six part series titled Too Soon, where we cover lots of different AI tools. So Justin's gonna drop a link to that. And then on November 18th, we're doing a workshop to uh, nonprofits think about ways they could use AI and actually take projects home. I wanted to call out one 
a resource that I found that I think people might really be interested in, which Justin will also drop in. That's called You Include. And it's a, I actually learned about that through a previous TechSoup event. And that is a site that lets you post a, a job posting, a job description, and it will let you know how to make that posting more inclusive so that you get a broader and more diverse roster of candidates applying for that job, which is a really fantastic use of AI in writing. So that's it for my session.